All right, for the final video in this section about chest, I want to talk about assertions. When writing tests, we often need to check that values meet certain conditions. For example, with our greet component tests, we are asserting that the word hello is present in the virtual DOM or the name is present in the virtual DOM. Assertions decide if a test passes or fails and hence is a crucial aspect of writing tests. So let's spend a few minutes to understand the different parts of an assertion. With chest, assertions are carried out with the global expect method. This method accepts a value as its argument. The argument should be the value that your code produces. In our example, it is a DOM node. Now you will rarely call expect by itself. Instead, you will use expect along with a matcher function to assert something about a value. A matcher can optionally accept an argument which is the correct expected value. In our example, the matcher function is to be in the document which does not need an argument and verifies if the DOM node is present in the DOM. Hopefully, you now know what an assertion looks like. Now, as a beginner, one of the things I struggle with is trying to find out what are the different matcher functions that I can use when writing a test. So I want to take two minutes and point you to the right place in the docs. If you visit justjs.io docs slash using hyphen matchers, you can see a list of commonly used matchers. Let me quickly walk you through a few of them. We have matchers for comparing numbers such as to be greater than and to be lesser than, string matchers in the form of to match function, matchers for arrays and iterable in the form of to contain, which checks if an item is present in the list, and finally, exception matchers to test whether a function throws a particular error. This is a really good starting list, so please make sure to check it out. Now, if you think about it, we have used the to be in the document matcher, but we don't see that in our list here. And that is because just out of the box provides matcher functions for JavaScript testing that does not involve a UI or the DOM. So what we do is extend the list of just matchers by adding an additional package called just DOM. If I open the GitHub repo for just DOM, you can see it is part of testing library. If I scroll down, we can see a list of custom matchers. Here you find all matcher functions that you can use for asserting against React components. You have to be enabled and to be disabled, which are really helpful with buttons and inputs. To be in the document, which we have seen already, to have class, to have style, to have value, to be checked, etc., which are all really helpful. If you scroll further down, you get really good documentation of when to use a particular matcher function. What you should also know is that just DOM is installed for us with create react app setup. If I head back to VS code, open package.json, we can see testing library slash just DOM is a dependency. And if we head over to setup tests.ts, we can see the package being imported. We also have a useful comment. Just DOM adds custom just matchers for asserting on DOM nodes. We also have a link to the documentation. Now setup tests is something we will come across later on in the series, but all you have to know is that it is a global setup file in a create react app project. And this file will be automatically executed before just runs a test. That is the reason to be in the document is available for us in our test file. 
Now let me tell you, you don't have to memorize these matcher functions. We will be using several of these as we progress through the series and that will slowly start giving you an idea of what you can use based on what you're testing. My intention with this video is just to give you a head start and hopefully answer a question that you might have had regarding what sort of assertions you can write when testing. So to quickly review, we learned what is an assertion and the different parts that make up the assertion with chest. We learned about the global expect method, which accepts a value as its argument. And that is chained with a matcher function, which is used to check a condition. Chest provides several matchers out of the box, but we also need chest DOM. Custom matchers, as we are testing React components, and a virtual DOM is what we check against. With that, we come to the end of the second section in the series, which is about Jest. In this section, we have covered Jest watch mode, filtering tests with watch mode and test.only and test.skip, grouping tests using describe, learned about the file name conventions for Jest to pick up and run a test, learned about code coverage and how to generate a coverage report. And finally, we learned about assertions. If all of this is clear, let's move on to the next section where we will start focusing on React testing library. Thank you for watching. Please do consider subscribing to the channel and I will see you in the next one.